Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain computer chip company that promises to change the way humans interact with computers. Are we ready? No, absolutely not, Bruce. I think we are. I think that we totally are. I think it's going to be super helpful to have another company uh, create these chips that help people that have severe paralysis, you know, be able to use their phones, their computers. Um, I know the, the guy who had the first Neuralink implant is able to play chess. He plays video games on it now. He can even play Mario Kart um, without using any of his hands. I think that a lot of other companies do what Neuralink is doing a lot better than Neuralink. So yes, people have been experimenting with this technology for two decades, but Neuralink hasn't. It launched in 2016 and only just implanted its first computer chip into somebody's brain. Companies like BrainGate, which is run by Tufts University, has the backing of major academic institution, and they implanted the first brain computer chip into a person in 2004. Then you have um, BlackRock Neurotech, and it's already implanted its brain chips in 30 people, and it's been studied in patients since 2004 as well. Nathan is moving this hand with his brain. And then obviously there's Synchron, which doesn't even require open brain surgery and is backed by Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and just requires an implant into the blood vessels. I just think there are so many companies that are doing this better than Elon Musk. Why haven't we heard about these companies? I feel like- Neuralink, I think we have. I think we've heard about these companies. I feel companies. like Neur Neuralink is like making a splash in a very short time. And I do think their product is making some But it's not a good splash. It's not a good splash. <laughs> I think the product, it has thousands of electrodes, uh, more than some of its competitors that make its product uh, more precise. It also um, is fully implantable. It means that you don't have to connect it to any external devices to use it and it's charged wirelessly. So you're not having to use this chip. You know, you'll connect it to anything. Neuralink is not the answer. There's been a lot of complaints from the medical community because doctors are saying that Elon Musk hasn't been sharing enough information. One medical expert said that opening up the brain of a living human being to insert a device, particularly someone with serious medical problems, deserves more than a two sentence report on what is in effect a proprietary social media platform not distinguished for its reliability where facts are concerned. If Neuralink is going to become a major player in this space, it needs to be collaborating with doctors and the medical community. That is super concerning for me. I want medical experts to be putting their weight behind a brain computer chip that's gonna require open brain surgery. No, I agree that, you know, Neuralink should be more transparent with the medical community. I don't think it's completely fair to say that they're not sharing any information. You know, they to get approved by the FDA to start clinical trials, they've had to like, you know, go through reviews and processes. So there is experts that are okay with Neuralink testing out their products and, and giving it the okay to start implanting these chips. Okay, it may be legal, but is it ethical? Can we talk about the fact that Neuralink has killed more than a thousand, reports say 1,500 animals, sheep, pigs, monkeys, monkeys, come on. Um, there's a Wired report that exposes the deaths of these monkeys um, and described the death of monkeys as grisly and gruesome and just painted a really horrible picture about how these animals died. And I don't know about you, but me personally, I do not support medical experiments that are hurting animals like this. They did a review and didn't find any like violations about animal testing, except for one, one case in 2019. You know, it, it is very sad, but again, it wasn't anything illegal. Okay, sure, not illegal, but probably unethical. A lot of concerns about Neuralink are coming from employees within the company itself. So employees have said that the experiments were unnecessarily rushed, and they said, and indicated that Elon Musk lied on X about the deaths of the monkeys. Elon Musk tried to say that those monkeys were close to death already and that Neuralink wasn't actually the cause of their death. But employees said that that claim is ridiculous and if not a straight fabrication. So I just have a hard time believing what Elon Musk says. I feel like those talking points are a little irrelevant during our current debate. I think we're talking about, is this product good for the moment? Is it good for the future? Um, how many people are going to be benefiting from all the like advantages and advances that this product makes? Are we ready for brain computer chips? Maybe, but it's not Neuralink. Check out more at QZ.com.